Yo, it's me, it's me, it's the SCOTD, and welcome to the first of a new series I'm doing called Original vs. Remake. Now, <clears throat> I want to tell you this, we're going to take a look at the original and the remake of that original film, and we're going to go through four different categories and figure out which one is better. It won't always be the original, it won't always be the remake. Sometimes I prefer the remake, sometimes I prefer the original. Who knows? And we're going to start with... As you can see, probably, Halloween, and off kilter, hold on. <clears throat> it's supposed to be, hold on. <clears throat> Halloween, the original, and Rob Zombie's remake. Now, I made no bones about the fact that I don't like... Rob Zombie's remake and its sequel of Halloween. Now, so I've taken that and on that I've based that, oh, all of Rob Zombie's movies suck. Well, I've seen bits and pieces of House of a Thousand Corpses and I, I think I'm wrong on that. But when it comes to Halloween, which one is better? I think I know the answer, so do you. But let's, let's talk about it. First, story. Stories are very similar. It's Michael Myers. He kills someone and then he grows up and goes after someone else and starts killing people on Halloween. It's the story, right? You know, it's the same story. However, both stories are different. Where in five minutes we are shown that Michael has killed his sister and then we cut to present day. Here, in Rob Zombie's movie, it takes... 45 minutes to show us an entire backstory of Michael killing his, not only his sister, but his stepdad and her, and his sister's boyfriend, as well as a school bully and a, uh, attacking a nurse in the under, in the un, uh, rated cut. He kills, uh, Dan, well, he kills Danny Trejo and then the unrated cut. He also kills, uh, Two dudes are gonna rape some woman, so Michael's a hero. It's just, you know, it's extended for 45 minutes, followed by a, a rushed version of the original with two different endings. Where well, the original has Dr. Loomis shooting Michael six times and he falls off the roof, and then when Dr. Loomis goes to look, he's gone. Here you have Lori shooting Michael point blank in the face because Rob Zombie was gonna make another one. So, he just wanted to kill Michael off. But, money talks, right? If I had to... So, we're gonna, you know, go by the line here. I'm gonna have to give the original the advantage when it comes to story. Yes, we explore Michael's backstory, but there is the problem with that. Is that, uh... Rob Zombie decided to make Michael the protagonist by making every other character he comes in contact with a total dick. Including Lori, who's supposed to be the protagonist. But she's kind of not. She is in the second half and isn't. Because while she's still around, we don't follow her. We follow Michael. And Michael is set up to be the protagonist. But he's not supposed to because he's also killing people. We can't root for someone who's murdering people... Because it murdering people, it doesn't make any sense. So yes, the original gets the gets the mark on this one. Now we got characters. Oh boy, can I go ahead and get give it to the no? Okay. Um, characters. The characters are written well in the original. You know, you know, Lori. She's this high school girl. She just she's a babysitter. She's trying to do her thing. You know, go around and go about her day, hang out with her friends. She's got a babysit, and you know, Michael is a serial killer. He stabbed his his uh, his sister when he was little. There's Doctor Loomis who knows the evil that's inside Michael and is trying to stop him from doing more. You know the characters what they're doing. Rob Zombie's version. They're all dicks, what can I say? So for Michael, because he's supposed to be the protagonist, even though he's not supposed to be the protagonist. Even Dr. Loomis in that version, played by Malcolm McDowell, as hard as he tries, 
cannot duplicate what Donald, Ple Donald Pleasance did in the original. And, it, he, well, he's better in this one. The sequel makes him worse. But here, he tries. He actually tries. Dr. Loomis tries. He's probably the only good thing about it. And Scott Taylor Compton, Compton is Laurie. She's all right, too. But it just doesn't work with what is already established. Just, yeah. And the characters are all dicks to Michael. Except for his mother, because he's, she's played by Rob Zombie's wife. And so she has to be sympathetic because she's got to be a good person. But she's also a stripper, which implies she's white trash, which I know not all strippers are white trash, don't get me wrong. They're making a living, they make good money, you know. But I'm just saying, when it comes to characters, the original were better written. So there's that. Atmosphere. John Carpenter in the original did a very good job portraying this atmosphere where you never knew what was going to happen because it was very, there was a lot of, um, I forgot the word, it, suspense, there was a lot of suspense, you didn't know what was going to happen, you were waiting for something to happen, when, um, Bob opens that, that closet door and Michael comes out when he, when, um, Annie gets in the car and he just grabs her and starts choking her, you know, you never knew what was going to happen, you know, you just, there was a lot of suspense and a lot of good atmosphere, the music and everything. Rob Zombie didn't even know how to use the fucking theme right. What's the first time we hear the music in the original? The opening. After that, it's used to convey when there's something happening with Michael, when something bad is going to happen. First time we hear it here is when Michael runs away from the principal's office and and is on his way to kill Bully, and then it stops just before he kills the Bully. That's not how you use the music. And in the sequel, you only hear the music in the credits. So when it comes to atmosphere, our original gets the axe. Dialogue. Original gets the dialogue X. Let me explain. Rob Zombie doesn't know dialogue worth shit. At least in this film. Some of the stuff he did in the House of Thousand Corpses was alright. But here, maybe I just like seeing a, hearing a clown say, fuck your mama. And fuck your grandmama. I don't know. But, uh, here, uh, I will go fuck you. Uh, you know he's gonna, you know he's gonna be queer. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, all she do, cry shit, cry shit, cry shit. I hear your sister will suck my for a, for a quarter. It's just horrible white trash dialogue. And then once you get to the other side, it gets a little better. But then you got Lori poking her finger through a freaking bagel, which you don't want to the character thing. But I'm just saying, his dialogue is shitty. Now, overall... You know where I'm gonna go here. I've got I've given nothing to the remake. It's no secret. I hate this. I hate the remakes of Halloween. Ro uh, eh. John Carpenter did such a great job with this one. And even though he didn't direct the second one, that was also good. But John Carpenter did with the original cannot be redone. Yes, John Camp Carpenter gave his blessing to Rob Zombie, told him to do his own thing. He did. It just turned out that it doesn't work with Halloween. If he had done one of his other movies, like if, if this was sort of a set in the same universe as his House of a Thousand Corpses, or was this like a different film altogether, not with Michael Myers, I think it would have worked. But you try to insert his way of filmmaking into a Halloween film, and it came up this weird monster amalgamation thing. So, overall, the original gets the X. So... Sorry. Original wins. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you think the original is better than Rob Zombie remake? Who knows? Uh, most people do think that, but let me know in the comments below what you think. Remake versus... Maybe you would prefer Rob Zombie's Halloween over the original. Let me know why you're wrong. Uh, I'm just kidding. Let me, let me know what you think. Uh, about that. Well, let me know why you think Rob Zombie's 
movie is better and why you need to see a doctor, a psychiatrist for your problems. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I've been Scotty. See you in the next one.